Here's how you can find the steric number for CH3OH. This is methanol. So you start out with a valid Lewis structure. If you need help drawing this Lewis structure, there's a link at the end of the video. So we have our Lewis structure and the steric number, we're looking at the central atom. We wanna know the number of atoms bonded to it. That's the first thing we need to know. We'll consider the carbon our central atom. That's usually the case here. And we're gonna look at the number of atoms around it. We have one, two, three, and then the oxygen here also bonded to the hydrogen. So the whole OH group, that's what makes this an alcohol, methanol. So we have one, two, three, four, atom groups around the carbon, and then we look at the number of lone pairs. But there aren't any lone pairs around the carbon. They're all involved in these chemical bonds here between atoms. So we only have four atoms, no lone pairs. The steric number is four. And you can use that to figure the molecular geometry out for CH3OH, like this. We know our steric number is four, and we know that there aren't any lone pairs. All these electrons here, they're involved in chemical bonds. Zero lone pairs, steric number of four. We have this tetrahedral molecular geometry. So that's one way we can use steric number for CH3OH. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.